What's up boys and girls, Brennan Myers. <laughs> One second, I have to go to the uh, correct spot and then I need the reflector which is flying away right now oh, to get it over here. Put it on me, put it on me, put it on me, put it on me. You good? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> what's up boys and girls, Brennan Myers here and today we're gonna be touching on the subject. How should we be doing push-ups to build a bigger chest? First of all, you need to understand something. With body weight training, and you know, I always emphasize the same as I think, we're only using one resistance, and that is our body weight. So if you're lighter, it's gonna be harder to build muscle if you're not increasing variation and doing things that are a little bit different to really incorporate as many cross bridges within all those muscle fibers firing. So, how do we incorporate more cross bridges? Well, first of all, we never wanna do a simple push-up. Yes, I've said it. I haven't done a simple, regular old push-up in, oh man, over a year, maybe even two years. I've never d incorporated it into my workout. And the reason why is because my body weight, it, it's, I, I weigh 200 pounds, uh, 205 pounds, but it's too easy for me to just do push-ups. I can do that all day. So to incorporate more cross bridges, I'm now going to increase variation and make it even harder. How? I'm gonna do a clap push-up as fast as possible, or I'm gonna do a Superman push-up, or I'm going to do a Kakai push-up. Something that so, so, requires so much more power and force production for myself that I'm gonna work my chest even more. Okay, so now that we understand you need to increase variation, I want you to focus on supersets, right? So we wanna fatigue the muscle, but at the same time, we wanna isolate it as much as possible. And the only way to do that, since our anterior delts and our triceps are also being worked throughout the whole movement, is by doing more supersets so that we can feel it more in our chest. So what I'm gonna tell you to do, take three different exercises, make one of them a little easier to do, a little bit that, that requires a little bit less strength, but you can move a little bit faster throughout the movement, and just incorporate all three of those. And the supersets should have rep range of six to eight reps for each specific exercise. Okay, so now what about the rest periods? Should we have them 30 seconds for more muscular endurance? Should we have them more power and strength based closer to five minutes, three to five minutes? No. For this specific structure of building our chest, we want to stay around a minute to a minute and a half for maximum output. Most important thing that I just said right there is maximum output. We want to be able to create as much force as possible throughout each specific superset. So when we rest, we want to make sure we're coming back to that same exercise with complete rest and no fatigue so that we can use all that production into the energy within the movement, right? Okay, so we have the rest periods out of the way. So how many times per week, Brendan, should we be training this type of way? Well, usually it's two times per week, okay? Now what I want you to do, three times per week. I want you to train your pecs three times per week, and through this and the supersets, you will see a big, big difference. Now, one important thing to understand, do not overtrain. Okay? You don't want to push yourself all the way to the limit every single day, those three times during that week. As I said in previous videos, you want to have a light day, a more moderate day, and an extreme and high intensity day. Especially for your pectoralis majors, you, know, you can't always put them under too much stress or else you will see more injuries. And finally, volume is extremely, extremely important to see these types of results in your chest area and how or what do I mean by volume I mean reps times sets okay so how many sets are you doing how many reps are you doing so as I said six to eight reps per superset I mean per specific exercise within the superset sets wise I want you to go four to five sets because remember as I spoke previously about within bodyweight training volume is extremely extremely important okay so I want you to follow that four to five sets or approximately, okay? And I want you to do three to four different supersets. And then once you do that, trust me, you will be completely fatigued and you know, you'll start seeing results quicker than you could even believe. So hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying and understand what it really takes to build a bigger chest. Remember those important things that I touched 
watch the whole video multiple times, let it sink in, because these are the secrets to your results within bodyweight training. So, hope, again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm Brendan, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My boy on the reflector, Jake. Oh, it's off, it's on. <laughs> we can see his glasses. You can see it on my glasses? Yeah. I can see you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Yeah, the whole time it's just like, it's like a mirror. Your glasses are like, so you can see this kind of in you your see glasses. It. <laughs>